Hey guys and welcome to another Juicy Tuts tutorial. Craig here and today we're going to look at how to export a still frame in Premiere and also how to create a freeze frame because I know that's what a lot of people want to do. I've been wanting to do this for a while and it took me a while until I could find out how to do it. So I know it's not an obvious thing. Uh, there's, there's, there's two good ways you could do this. Right, let's get in here. I have a video here that you, I'm sure you've seen in other videos. Uh, it's a promo video for a band called Depth that I did a music video for. It's called All I Know. Make sure you go and check it out on YouTube. But here we have, this is just going to be my example. Uh, so here we have um, a video. And they, the guitars go up there. Let's say I want a freeze frame right on that cut there. How would I do it? Maybe someone's running along and you want a freeze frame. This could be anything in the video. How would I do it? Well, you can split the video at the point, which I've done there. And then on the the new split clip, you right click and frame hold. And then make sure it's at in point. Then click OK. And then this whole video clip here is the the frame as it's held. So the video will play and it will freeze at that point. Now that's fine, but it's it's a bit of a clunky way to do it because now this whole clip is is this one frame and we need to get back to the we might need to get back to the video, you never know. And also you might need this still frame to use other places. Maybe you want to show uh what the video looks like in a still frame to your client, a color correction, etc. Um, so you want to export a still frame. So let's undo what we've done here. So let's get to the point that I want to export. Let's say this frame here. Now, an easy way to do it, to get a picture, you can just click this export frame button underneath the viewer, uh, which you have in other versions of Premiere as well. Click it, clickety click. Uh, you can call it what you want, still frame one, and put it in a bit more of a, uh, we'll put it in a TIFF, that's a bit more of a diverse format. Save it to desktop. Okay, so that clip should now be on our desktop, and there it is, looking all lovely over there in full 1080p, 1080p, just 1080 by 1920. Uh, so now we can come over to the project window and import it and then we can simply insert it just like any other uh, asset into our video. So we can just insert it at the playhead and then we can drag this video clip after it if we wanted. So now the video will come along, it will freeze at the bit we've paused it at and then carry on. Well, there you go. And then you've also got that picture that you can use elsewhere if you need a still frame. That's not a good place to pause it at. Ah, okay. Well, anyway, there you go. That's uh, two ways to create a freeze frame and how to export a still frame in Premiere. This was CS6, but it'll work the same way in uh, CS5.5, CS5, and CS4, etc. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to rate the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Actually, don't give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. Just give it a thumbs up if you do like it. Um, that way it works better for us. Uh, remember to subscribe if you want more of these videos. And follow on twitter.com forward slash juicy tuts. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Bye.